Obviously, uh, bearing in mind what happened in Cheltenham, some uh, horrendous uh, injuries there. I just wanted to catch up with uh, uh, Jimmy. Obviously, Dale Jacobs, a, a very good pal of yours, and what happened there, we've, we've seen it. But um, how is he and um, how is he recovering? Yeah, he seems in good form. He, he was discharged from hospital on Monday. So he's, he's back home now in Canton with, with wife Kelly. And, uh, yeah, no, he's doing okay, obviously. He's, you know, he's, he, it, it's sore and, and I suppose it's... Did he explain what happened? Because, I mean, it was just... It came after the win as well. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's yeah. just the highs and lows of, of national racing, you know. Yeah. But it's amazing when, uh, when the ground changes quickly from soft, heavy ground to good ground. I mean, there must be... 10 or 12 jockeys injured in the last two weeks, including Jason Maguire, Brian Darryl, Cooper, Brian Cooper. Yeah. You know, there's several lads real badly injured, you know, and it's, it scares the life out of me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, you don't have to do it anymore. You're <laughs> no, not in the exactly, cell anymore. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. obviously he was taken to hospital. I mean, taken to hospital, yeah. yeah, and he had an operation then the following day on his, he broke, he fractured his knee and his tibia and uh, fractured his left elbow as well. So all on the left side. But it, operations seem to go well. Surgeons were happy, and he seems happy. As I said, he's he's back at home now, and uh, yeah, he's, it's going to be a boring time now, especially coming up to Aintree because he would have had some fancied rides. You know, obviously Paul has Rocky Creek and Tidal Bay in the national, which I mean, Tidal Bay I think is a is a lively contender. Um, does he have Does he have any targets of? I mean, hopefully we'll, we'll ask him to be on the phone in the next couple of weeks, but does he have any targets of when the plan is, or is it just take day by day? No, you can't really. You know, it, if it was just uh, stable fractures, you know, you usually get three months is the time, you know, for, for legs and, and, and different injuries like that. But because obviously they're both, you know, their joints, uh, elbow and uh, a knee, they're not just as uh, straightforward. That doesn't mean that it's going to be any longer. But it, it's possible it could be. Yeah, but, but you know, I mean, you, I you, mean you're, going, you're going to have to say three months, and then where is he then? I suppose we're in March now, so it'll be June, July time, and you know, there's not there's not much point in rushing back for for June or July. If there's jump, any consolation, I suppose the best time to happen is now, because obviously the only two big festivals now are Aintree and and exactly. Yeah, I'm sure it? he's going to you know with a job like Daryl has, he's going yeah. to miss some winners, but. Uh, that, that's part and parcel with the job. He he had uh, he rode Paul Nichols' only only winner at Cheltenham Festival, so you know he can look back at the year and say, well, at least I won on Lac Fontana at the at Cheltenham. So yeah, I mean as you say, the highs and lows of the day before as well. He just got beat on the line. You can see yeah, the exactly. sort of upset in his eyes. Obviously, you had a bit of banter with him, and you got to cheer him up. I mean, tell tell the viewers at home what, what you yeah, did. Yeah, well, I just took a picture of him um, with a with a nuts magazine, his favourite magazine, and. Nuts Magazine have been on the phone wanting to do an interview with him, so that's his future career. I think he's going to be a model for Nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Can Kelly model for Nuts, do you uh, think? I, don't, I doubt it. I doubt it. I doubt it. <laughs> right, OK.